Hi there, YouTubers. Today I am making a video about my um, pocketbook that I got a couple months back. I haven't gotten around to making a video yet, so I figured I'd do it tonight. So this is my um, Louis Vuitton Speedy and Day, um, uh, and I got the size 25 because now there is a 30, um, but I got the, si the um, color Infinity. So I wanted something that goes with everything and to be able to use this bag. So this is my review on the bag. It is by far one of my favorite bags, probably my favorite bag of all um, my bags that I've had. And if you've watched my YouTube videos, I've had a lot of different bags. So, um, but I did consolidate a couple of my bags into this one bag. Um, and this has uh, been all that in a bag of chips. So let's get started. So um, this is the kind of, I call it like the front of the bag since it does have the, um, okay, the clochette on here. Um, so I do like that. Um, one of the reasons why I picked this bag is it's kind of like three bags in one. So if you're looking to find a bag that you really can utilize um, a lot and be able to, um, you know, really get the most out of the bag, a three-in-one bag is perfect for that. So this um, is mostly some, mostly the way that I wear it. Um, and this is the shorter strap that I have on here right now. Um, and like I said, I mostly wear it like this most of the time. Um, so, and it kind of sits on my shoulder like this, which is not bad. I mean, I really, really um, can't say enough good things about this bag. So, a um, couple of the features um, inside. And um, before you all ask, yes, this is one with a cloth tag. It was made in the USA, so I don't know if you can see that, but that's the inside of the bag there. Um, and this one, the cloth tag really doesn't bother me a lot, um, only because it is very, um, it's very, uh, it's navy blue just like the inside of the bag, so you really can't even tell that it's in here. Um, when I think about it, or kind of like when I look in there, they put it in a location where you really can't see it, so not really a big deal and with this bag the Louis Vuitton um, logo is inside the bag so um, it just says Louis Vuitton Paris on it instead of um, made in France or made in Spain or wherever um, so I really um, you know I'm not really upset about it in the beginning when I first heard that they were doing it I was like what are y'all people crazy I ain't buying no bag with no tag but when you find your HD bag as they call it um, you'll buy it and you don't care what it looks like. <laughs> so, um, most of the time I wear it like this with a strap attach, but there are times when I just need to, um, you know, have hands free, so I will attach the connector strap. Um, and there is a connector strap with this bag as well, so I just kind of fit it in there and then I'm able to wear it crossbody. Um, so, a couple of things. I really like the detail that they place on the bag, so I don't know if you can see that up close there, but I mean, the detail is just beautiful. I mean, really beautiful. Um, they really took their time on all of the buttons. It says Louis Vuitton. Um, and also on the um, sides of the, you know, clips, the clasps here, all of the clasps have Louis Vuitton on them, um, which the regular speedies don't have that. So um, they really did put a lot of um, extra work into it, if you want to call it that. Um, not really sure if the price is all that much, you know, more, but I know it's a leather bag. So one of the reasons why I settled on this bag was because if you've watched my videos before, I'm a fanatic about the whole uh, leather getting patina and getting uneven, getting wet, getting going outside. So every morning I was checking my weather and it just got to be uh, a little crazy. So I wanted a bag that was no maintenance. I could bring it out in the snow because um, I live in crazy New England here with this crazy weather um, or I can bring it anywhere. So um, for that matter, I got this and there's no worries. If it's raining, I'm like, oh, it's raining today. Who cares? So which before I would be like, oh, my God, let me get some plastic bags. And, you know, so I don't really have to do that anymore. So really love that about the bag. Um, the other thing that I really like is that it has finally feet and it has this little extra leather pad here to protect it as well um, so I mean I do use the feet a lot so you know if you can see here it's starting to rub off a little bit but who cares it's on the bottom of the bag so who cares so um, the other thing that I like is the zippers so the zippers have these cool leather tags on them so to make it easy to go across which I really like um, so I always keep them kind of here 
in the middle while I'm carrying the bag so that in case I need to get into it, I can easily get into it there. Um, also, the other cool thing um, that I like to do is I like to carry the lock on the bag. So even sometimes I will carry it without this strap and I'll take the strap off and um, I will carry it like this, which just is so daggone cute. I mean, can you, I mean, look at that beauty. I mean, she's just cute. So, um, and the lock looks cute hanging off the side there too. So, um, that's what I do with the lock on this bag. Um, and then, you know, the keys are obviously in this little um, uh, uh, clochette, or cloquette, whatever it's called. Um, so, I again, if you're thinking about getting this bag, they just came out with a size 30, which, you know, everybody's like, yay, yay. Boy, am I glad I didn't get the 30, because I'm up here watching y'all on YouTube trying to figure out what the heck else to fit in my back book, because I only have a few things in there. So, you know, my wallet and my, um, you know, my class and, you know, just a few things. So, I've been watching my uh, What's in Purse videos to try to figure out. So, stay tuned, because I got some good things coming in my purse. So, um, I'll be making a What's in My Bag video. Um, but, yeah, so that is kind of crazy to me. But, um, I really just love this bag, and, um... The size 30, I did um, kind of test it out, and it's huge. It's huge. So if you're one of those people that like to carry a lot of stuff, then go for the 30. But if you're one of those people that don't have a lot of things to carry, um, definitely look into this bag because it is really, really wonderful. Um, the other thing that I just kind of wanted to note, note out in here is um, it's a lot easier, to, more easy to open than the regular Speedy because I have my Mono Speedy B and I love that. But this is a lot easier to open because the sides come down a little bit more. And then there are two pockets on this side and also a little D-ring, which um, sometimes I do uh, attach my pochette to. Um, and then there's a nice zippered pocket on the other side, which again, it, I don't know if you can see this, but it does have the little leather taggy. So um, they did try to make it luxurious, which I, you know, applaud them for that. Um, so, and you know, that's pretty much it for the bag. Um, let me see. So if you're looking, if you're one of those people that needs to know where the um, date code is, it's inside um, the pocket, the zippered pocket. So that's where you can find it. So, I really love this bag, and I was able to get in on it prior to the February um, price increase, so that was exciting. Like, only three days prior, but three days is three days, so I was excited about that. But, again, if you are thinking about this bag, please check it out, because it is a good one. Alright, well, thanks for watching.